anxiety and panic attacks, two terms that are often misunderstood but represent very different experiences. Both can be overwhelming, affecting every aspect of daily life. Understanding their differences is the first step to managing them effectively. Anxiety is that persistent feeling of unease or worry. It's like a shadow that follows you around, never quite leaving you at peace. This feeling can be mild, like a nagging worry about an upcoming meeting, or it can be severe, affecting your ability to function in daily life. Anxiety is actually a natural response to stress, a part of our body's fight or flight mechanism. But when it becomes excessive and chronic, it can develop into anxiety disorders like generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, or even panic disorder. Panic attacks, however, are a different beast. Imagine you're going about your day and suddenly out of nowhere, an intense wave of fear washes over you. Your heart races, your chest tightens, and you might even feel like you're losing control or dying. These episodes are short, but incredibly intense. A panic attack usually peaks within 10 minutes, but those 10 minutes can feel like an eternity. The physical symptoms, racing heart, shortness of breath, dizziness, make the experience even more terrifying. While anxiety and panic attacks share some symptoms like restlessness or a racing heart, they are fundamentally different. Anxiety is a prolonged state of worry, whereas a panic attack is an acute, intense burst of fear. So what causes these overwhelming experiences? The answer isn't simple. The causes of anxiety and panic attacks are multifaceted, involving genetics, brain chemistry and even environmental factors. For some, a family history of anxiety disorders or panic attacks increases their likelihood of developing these conditions. Genetics play a significant role in how we respond to stress and anxiety. Brain chemistry also plays a crucial part. Imbalances in neurotransmitters like serotonin and GABA are often linked to anxiety and panic disorders. These chemicals regulate mood, stress and anxiety levels. Then there are environmental factors. Stressful life events like losing a job, the death of a loved one, or childhood trauma can trigger anxiety and panic attacks. Our personality traits and how we perceive and react to these events can also influence our mental health. It's also important to consider medical conditions. Sometimes symptoms of anxiety and panic attacks can be triggered or worsened by underlying health issues like hypothyroidism or heart disease. Substance use is another significant factor. Excessive caffeine or alcohol intake can exacerbate anxiety and withdrawal from substances can lead to increased anxiety or even panic attacks. The impact of anxiety and panic attacks on daily life can be profound. Physically, chronic anxiety can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease and even digestive problems. Emotionally, it can lead to feelings of hopelessness and depression. Socially, the fear of having a panic attack in public can lead to social withdrawal and isolation. You might find yourself avoiding places or activities that you associate with panic, further limiting your life. At work or school, anxiety and panic attacks can affect concentration, memory and decision-making, making it harder to meet deadlines or complete tasks. This can create a cycle of stress and anxiety that feels impossible to break. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are effective techniques to manage anxiety and panic attacks, starting with therapy. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, is one of the most effective treatments. It helps you identify and challenge negative thought patterns and replace them with more balanced thoughts. CBT often involves exposure therapy, where you gradually face your fears in a safe environment. Mindfulness and relaxation techniques are also powerful tools. Mindfulness involves staying present in the moment, observing your thoughts without judgment. Deep breathing exercises, progressive muscle relaxation and meditation can all help reduce the physiological symptoms of anxiety and panic. In some cases, medication might be necessary. SSRIs like sertraline or fluoxetine are commonly prescribed for anxiety disorders, while benzodiazepines might be used for short-term relief during acute panic attacks. Always consult with a healthcare provider to find the right treatment for you. Don't underestimate the power of lifestyle changes, regular exercise, a balanced diet and good sleep hygiene can significantly reduce anxiety. Reducing caffeine and alcohol can also help prevent triggers. 
Engaging in hobbies and activities that bring you joy can be a great way to distract yourself from anxious thoughts and improve your overall well-being. Support groups can provide a sense of community and understanding. Whether in person or online, sharing your experiences with others who face similar challenges can be incredibly empowering. Keeping a panic diary can help you track the frequency, intensity and triggers of your panic attacks. Over time, you'll start to notice patterns that can help you anticipate and manage future attacks. Grounding techniques such as the 54321 method can help you stay connected to the present moment during a panic attack. These techniques focus your attention on your surroundings, helping you regain control. Controlled breathing exercises like diaphragmatic breathing or the 478 method can calm your nervous system and reduce the severity of panic attacks. Practicing these regularly can prepare you to handle anxiety when it strikes. In addition to CBT, other forms of therapy like psychodynamic therapy or EMDR can help you explore the root causes of your anxiety and develop personalized coping strategies. Anxiety and panic attacks can be challenging, but with the right tools and support, you can take control. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button and join us for more tips on mental health and wellness. Take care and remember, you're not alone on this journey.